I'm now doing some more work on the CTC 28TV and I think I may have found where the problem is. It's leading to kind of weak video. This looks like a peaking coil or some kind of video coil but you'll notice that well, maybe kind of hard to see it but it's really corroded. See there's a lot of corrosion on there. So I bet you that's where my problem is, why I'm getting kind of weak video, because there's the video output tube. I've got a junk CTC-17 chassis at home. Well, I mean, it's not a junk chassis, it's a functional chassis. It was from somebody that uh, dropped it off at the retro electronics shop. They converted the cabinet into a liquor cabinet or something and gave us the CRT and the chassis from a CTC-17 which I think is the same as this, or very similar to this. It may be, the audio circuit may be slightly different, but I think it's pretty much the same. But anyway, I, I was just looking around with the flashlight and I saw that. I thought, well, that certainly doesn't look good, and it's, it looks like it's in the video circuit. So I'll try and see if I can head out to the barn tonight and get that old CTC-17 chassis and salvage that coil off of it. Now, I can, I can demonstrate the purity, though. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited that I found that. I just actually found that right now. And I'd like to thank everybody at VideoKarma.org and everybody on YouTube for your comments and suggestions. I got a suggestion from CTC-17 at VideoKarma.org to try injecting video into the video output tube, or the uh, first video tube seen here. I got my uh, tube uh, test adapter here, and I put it in the socket, and I hooked up video through a 0.47 microfarad capacitor from the DTV converter, but for some reason I didn't get good video. It was weak, and I didn't have very good sync. So, at least that was telling me that it's not an IF related problem but this definitely doesn't look good so I'm gonna try and fix that but now I'll demonstrate how we do purity setup on this and just like when I was a little boy I used a hose clamp uh, on this when I was like about 13 or 14 years old I had a CTC 31 and this clamp that holds the yoke on was coming off. So back then I just used a hose clamp. And so I remember that trick. And I was able to kind of put the hose clamp on there, cock out a little bit so it wouldn't short out any of the convergence coils. But uh, I put it on there and just gently tightened it up. And before putting it on, I degaussed it just to make sure it wouldn't have any magnetism. And I, I took the blue lateral and purity assembly off of the Sylvania set, which has no high voltage. So now I can do a good purity setup because they've got all the components uh, like they should be, so that nothing's going to move around, uh, move around just in an erratic fashion. I went down to the uh, junk parts box and I found some other blue lateral clamps I'd salvaged from junk TVs. But they also are, have got missing uh, clamps on them to clamp onto the CRT. This is the one that was on it, but heat from the CRT just really caused this to disintegrate. So I'll just put these back in the parts box. Maybe I can revive them somehow with a new clamp. But now the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, degauss the set, which is especially important on this because it doesn't have an automatic degausser anymore. And then we'll begin the purity process. Now, before I degauss it, I found where those bad components are. And the bad components were uh, L59 or R R59 and L9. And here they're represented by the circuit board number prefixing that, which is 7. But you can see, let's see right there, there's L709. The darn thing will focus here. And they're right in the grid input to the video output tube. So if those are bad, that would definitely stop all video signal, or at least mess it up. It would really mess up the signal path into the tube. 
so I'm going to have to get the chassis back out and, and replace that. But now let's do the degaussing. Okay, now we're going to degauss it. I've got the degausser here, which is actually a bulk tape eraser, but it works real good for degaussing a picture tube, too. Let me get it plugged in. You know, this is such a unique collection. We received hundreds of letters from just like you, telling us how much they love it. Just a few. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. And we'll start. Special moment. We'll start from uh, several feet away and turn the degausser on. With how these performers have maintained their talent, we'll just they sound just as good as they did. Run it all the way around here. You've arranged an extraordinary event of historic proportions. So if you want to bring all of these great memories and all of these wonderful performances right into your home, then stay with me because we've got a DVD and video collection just for you. And you have my great you know, supper on the top. We are getting together and we're Along the sides. And singing and joking and having fun. All on the and front. The the white. And we'll withdraw the degausser before we shut it off. Now what I'm going to do is go to the service position. I'm going to pull out the service switch. And let me just adjust the mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And I need to, need to get myself a better mirror in here. That one is not all that big. But now I'm in the service position. I'm going to turn down the green screen, turn down the blue screen, turn the red screen control up so the screen is red. And I actually have done a purity setup on this, but I'll redo it just to show you how you do it. So let me get the camera and I'll show you what adjustments you do. The first thing you got to do for purity is you got to make sure that the deflection yoke is all the way at the back of the plastic housing. So you loosen the deflection yoke nuts and pull it back. So it's all the way at the back. And these tabs here are for adjusting purity. And what you do is you adjust it till the center of the screen is red. You can see here it's kind of multicolored. And I'm going to adjust the rings and let me, let me adjust the camera here so you can see it better. And adjust the rings. You'll notice the red area kind of moves around the screen and what you want to do is adjust those rings so that the center of the screen is red so that's pretty good there and then what you do to finish it up is you hold on to these clamps and push the deflection yoke forward until the screen becomes completely red and I'll put the camera back on the tripod to demonstrate how that works now you can see the screen is multicolored. I'm going to start moving the deflection yoke forward to make the screen completely red. Looks like that's probably pretty good right there. And so now I'm going to clamp down the yoke clamps. And the next part of the setup process I'm going to do is the RGB grayscale. I'm going to put the service switch to the service position, which in this set is the middle. Now I'm going to adjust, I'm going to turn it to an unused channel. So we just got a blank raster. And I'm going to start turning up the screen controls until, I, until the line is just barely visible. There's green, no blue. Now we'll go back to regular mode. And I'll put it back on the active channel. Watch the detailed program guide when you call to order now. And if for any reason you're not happy with your collection, we'll refund the And so it looks no pretty decent. Back. Of course, we still got kind of weak video because of that bad corroded coil. I watch you on television. <laughs> 
but looks like now we've got good purity and I adjusted all the convergence controls, the static convergence, back when I did the purity setup before and so it's pretty decent convergence, it's better than it was because I now got all the magnetic components on the picture tube set up the way they should be with the clamp and the new blue lateral magnet. Now I've just got one more step to really try and improve the picture on this and that's to replace that coil. I don't know how much more time you've got planned so for me. Next update of this project I'll show you what the replacement and results are. Thanks to all you wonderful people. But it's, I mean, I can still use it now, but I know when I replace that coil, it'll be really good. Just like some of the ones uh, that members of Video Karma showed me, like on a CTC 35 or 31. To be able to reunite with their friends.